Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to give you guys a cool tip you can use for DaVinci Resolve, which is to use markers in order to define in out points for your final video export. So when you want to split your timeline into a bunch of different video clips that you can export all at once, but as separate jobs, then using markers placed in the timeline is a really good way of indicating that. So if I zoom in a bit here for one of my timelines, uh, we can see these little blue markers that I've set on the timeline. And what makes these points very useful for setting in out points is that you can write notes for them and they're also easily recognizable and the timeline cursor will snap to them automatically. So if I drag this timeline cursor over here close to this marker, it will snap to it. It's a little bit hard to tell there because there's also a cut there, which would also automatically snap. But if we go over to the edit tab and I choose the location somewhere on my timeline and I add a marker here by not selecting any of the tracks. So you want to unselect your tracks and then use the marker icon, any color you choose to add a new marker in. So now as you'll see, it will automatically snap to that marker. So you don't really need to rely on cuts. It can be any start or end point on your video timeline. And now we can double click this marker in order to write a note. So we could give it a name such as export break five, I don't know. And we could maybe put in the notes, the title of the video that we're trying to export. So this would be a multi-video timeline, remember? And then in the notes, we could write something like the title of the video. So we could say in between clip. Then we hit okay. And if we go back over to the deliver tab, we'll be able to snap to it still and it will be really obvious what we were trying to accomplish earlier. So in this case, we have our endpoint for a video export. So I can hit I on the keyboard while it's snapped to that marker. And you'll see that everything before that endpoint gets grayed out, indicating it's not going to be included in the export. And then I can go over here, just for instance, to a second marker that I've added as maybe another break I want in the final video export. So let's say that we wanted to export between this marker and this marker. Well, you just hit O on the second marker, I on the first one to set your in out points. And now that it says render in out range, you'll be able to render to a file just that section of your entire video timeline. So I'll just do some simple settings here, YouTube 1080, and I'll call this test render. Uh, location will be my defaults. I'll add it to the render queue and note that you can queue up a bunch of exports. So for instance, I want to export again between this marker and this one. So I do I and O to set in points and out points again. And I come up here, give this section another name. So I'll call it test render two, add to render queue. And I can select multiple jobs in the timeline by holding shift down hit start render and just by doing that I can take one project one video timeline and easily export it precisely to multiple video files. So I found this to be pretty helpful when I was trying to split up this specific video and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you found this tip on using markers as your in out points in your render tab to be helpful. I've been Chris thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.